Hey everyone, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are finally touring my finished rural Japanese island. Now, if you're one of my regular followers, you know themes like this are just very difficult for me. If you're new to my channel, I mostly stick to, when it comes to Animal Crossing, City Core builds to something that is kind of like a little bit more modern feeling. I just really love building modern styled city islands, but I've been trying my best to kind of like branch out and try more rural and natural like themes. So today's island is basically my second time testing out a rural island. And I did notice that a lot of my builds have improved since my my very first one. So I'm excited to see how I continue to improve on styles like this in the future. I think my next take on a rural theme will be kind of like a more natural Japanese style but set during the summertime. So that is definitely a planned theme in the future once I obviously get inspired. But after this uh, island today, after I finally release it, we are going to be focusing on winter content. I'm going to be continuing my winter monotone city and then Christmas in New York. So those are my confirmed next two island themes that I'm very excited to uh, work on. Let me know what you hope to see first in the comment section below. Next important pieces of information, you will find every single code that I'm using in the video's description. If I'm missing one, just let me know. It does happen quite a bit because there's a lot of different codes that I'm using. Second, this island was inspired by a handful of amazing fellow creators in the Animal Crossing community. I will have everybody linked in the video's description too so they get their proper credit. This island Island is basically a mash of all of my favorite builds that they did with my own style to it into one island. So I had a lot of fun creating this. If it wasn't for their beautiful uh, islands to inspire me, this theme definitely would not have happened. Also a huge shout out to my lovely friend Kanoto. If it wasn't for their videos and tutorials, I would have not known how to create a lot of these uh, more rural type structural builds. So thank you so much Kanoto for just being such an inspiration to the community and helping me make this island theme happen. So I won't be showing y'all every single area on this island in today's video because I want you to go explore and find new things that you didn't even see in this footage when you visit the dream address. So I hope that y'all just have a ton of fun visiting this island theme. Just know that I put a lot of hours into getting this done. So normally it takes me about a couple of weeks to get an island finish. I know that's still unrealistic for a lot of y'all, but I just have no life and a lot of free time. So I build pretty fast, but uh, this island theme has actually been sitting on my console for almost a month because Disney Dream My Valley has basically took over my life. Well then I realized that Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is coming out literally this week. And I wanna be able to get this island finished so we can stream that game and also just focus on our Animal Crossing winter content and winter Disney Dreamlight content. So I was like, holy cow, I need to get this island finally done. So basically I told myself this island needs to be done by next Wednesday or we're gonna have issues. I literally bullied myself into getting this island done. And I hit so many walls during this build process. When I tell you that this theme was very difficult for me and I wanted to delete it so many times, it's a very similar relationship, honestly, with how my uh, fall fest island called Oakville was. I wanted to delete that island too a bajillion times because it was very difficult for me. But I'm so glad that I committed to it because the struggle and process into this island was very rewarding. It was very new to me and I hope that encourages you to try out maybe a theme that you normally wouldn't have done but you're kind of curious about and just to get out of your comfort zone. Because like I said earlier my comfort themes are modern styles, um, my tropical themes. So doing something like this today was very overwhelming and scary, but I'm so glad that I actually did it. I cannot believe I finished this island. There are so many Animal Crossing themes that I still really want to create. So just know if you're one of my Animal Crossing followers, even if I'm playing other video games, this is not leaving my channel ever. I will always post Animal Crossing. Sometimes I just need a little bit of a break to get inspired again, and then a new island happens. So with all that being said, you can definitely expect Animal Crossing content every week on my channel. It'll definitely be there. And if you're not following my Twitter, Twitter or Instagram,
Instagram, I recommend following me on those platforms because I do post the bill process and sneak peeks of videos that are coming up on my uh, accounts and just like photos of my islands too in general. I guess the last thing I want to mention is my favorite locations on this island is definitely my marketplace areas. I really wanted those to capture cluttered, cozy market vibes that you see a lot in, you know, Japan and those were very fun to build. I also think like my next favorite area would be where the large farming spot is at the bottom left side of the map. That was actually my first time ever making a dedicated farming build. So I was very excited about that. So to summarize this island, am I ever gonna do a fall rural Japanese theme ever again? Absolutely not. Just like Oakville, I will never do this again. This was such a stressful and difficult theme for me. So I'm very glad that it's over with and I can move on. I do however see myself committing to maybe a more lush green rural Japanese theme in the future so maybe I'll do that once I'm inspired. But with that being said I hope that y'all enjoy this island and definitely tag me in your visitation photos on social media. I love seeing them. Thank you so much for watching and have a horrible day. I'll see you next video.